issue nine. I'm so close to being on the fucking verge of burnout. It's, um, it's fucking crazy. Like, this always happens when I do a crowdfunding campaign. Like, I feel like everything else I'm doing, I put on the back burner because of the crowdfunding campaign. But then because I'm so like stressed out with all the other stuff that I'm not doing I like don't do everything I'm supposed to do for the campaign and so then I end up just having this like long list of things that I should be doing and um just with everything else it's um it's really hard to fucking manage life right now and I'm just really having a hard time I'm having a hard time getting motivated. I'm having a hard time staying motivated. Like I just forced myself to print out the blood rags and print out like the proof copy of runner up. And I still have to print the cover for it. So I'll be doing that in a minute. But I am just so exhausted from not doing as much as I normally do. If that makes any sense. Like my brain's going a million miles an hour, but I'm not doing as much. And everything's suffering right now. My my videos are suffering, I'm not doing as many. Just everything seems like, I just feel like I'm not doing enough, you know? And maybe it's just the change of what I would normally do makes everything weird, plus all the knee stuff just makes everything, uh, kind of, kind of different. Like, I'm just, I'm noticing things. Like, dishes stay in the sink longer, you know? Like, dirty clothes stay on the floor a little longer. You know what I'm saying? Just, everything is just really fucking slow. Because my brain is firing on all cylinders but because there's so many things to choose from to do I guess I can't decide what to do and so instead of doing anything I become stagnant and if there's anything you know about me being creatively stagnant is like the worst possible thing for me I absolutely hate it. I feel like I can't function. And that's probably why I put out chat books all the time. And you would think, oh, well, you're still putting a chat book out this month. You know, you're just also doing the book. Yes, but the book, it's like this long ordeal. I don't know. Oh, I'm freaking out, guys. Anyway, like with all things, this sh this will pass and everything should be fine very shortly. I just have to fucking get through it, so. So here is runner up. As you can see, I needed to clean my print heads. And so I did that, but I didn't want to print another one out. But this is actually a pretty, like, chunky chapbook. Lots of, how many pages? It's like 40 pages. It seems really big. I don't know. Yeah, so there you go. Runner up. This is the free gift when you get Winner Your Mom's Sodomy Prize for a power train. All right, I'm going to give myself a haircut because... Nothing beats stagnation like doing something different. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to try to cut the back of my hair without being able to see it, which is kind of crazy. So we'll see if I can make this happen and not look like a complete ass. It seems like I could just go across there. 
Okay. Should I start with the beard or start with the hair? Maybe I'll start with the beard. That should be easier. Okay, Jesus Christ. Okay, this isn't great because I don't have my glasses on. So I can't see anything. So we'll see how this works, yeah? That already looks a hundred times better. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Alright. Um... That looks better already. Okay. So, do I... Should I just leave this one on? Fuck it. I'll just leave this one on. Let me see what I can do with the hairs now. Oh, we're going back. I'm like accidentally giving myself a fade. <sighs> Alright. Let's go to the other side. I don't know what that looks like. Can't tell. But because it's easier for me to see when I use like no guard, but trying something different today and besides looking gorgeous I can't tell much of a difference okay good lord I have a lot to clean up Guess what? I can't see anything. Let's try this again. Huh. Uh-oh. Um, I think that looks okay. So I think it's okay. May have missed a spot here and there, but I also can't tell because I haven't done the full brush with product. I feel like I need to cut out more underneath. Kind of thin this fucking bad boy out. I don't know. We'll see.
I don't know if I ever showed this to you, but that building right there, the brick one, is um, a building that Bukowski lived in in the 50s. And it's right down the street from me. I think he lived in a bunch of places on this street based on based on things that I've read in his stories and poems. He talks about a lot of the area here. Oh, this guy's gonna run me over. For fuck's sake. Everything good, yeah? together for the people who stand on the exits and center dividers. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.